When Dosh introduced the all-new Challenger to the muscle car market in 1970, it was playing Russian roulette with eight shooters. Given that the Chrysler division had already entered the market with a fantastic charger which had been debuted just five years before, the decision didn't seem to make much sense. Mother Mopar was correct, though, and the Challenger rose to fame especially when it was adorned with the alphanumeric code of grandeur, 426 ME. Two E-sized vehicles from Chrysler were unveiled in the fall of 1969 for the 1970 model year, the Challenger and the redesigned Barracuda. In contrast to the Plymouth name, which was already seven years old, the Challenger sold well when it first debuted, reaching the limit after nearly 77,000 units. More than 18,000 of the total had a clever big block trick up their sleeves, along with the two iconic scarlet letters of performance, R slash T, as in road slash track. For the go-fast package, the Challenger received an additional engine option, but otherwise, the Charger supplied nearly everything a piston head enthusiast could ask for. For the 1970 body Dodge, the 383 cubic inch V8, 6.3 liter, was the base engine before going into R slash T territory. The remaining armament bore no differences from the mid sized veteran, two 440 Magnums, the standard 4 barrel on the recently released 6 pack, and, of course, the legendary 426 ME. Naturally, the majority of the Challenger R slash T packages sales that year went to the engine with the smallest displacement. The 383 motor was used in about two-thirds of the 18,512 performance examples.